Hi there, Sensei Victoria Whitfield here from victoriawhitfield.com for your weekly love letter. This week, the energy is asking, are you afraid of abundance? Now, I'm not just talking about financial abundance necessarily. This is also receiving, receiving friendship, love, recognition, um, uh, experiences, uplifting experiences, and even feelings. So this is not just financial abundance. We're talking about receiving in general. So being afraid of abundance, that can manifest in some really sneaky kinds of ways in our life. And that's really what the energy wanted to bring to us um, in this week's love letter. Some of the different ways that it can manifest is when someone pays you a compliment, you tend to be like, oh, no, 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 or you too, or, or something like that. You, or just kind of shrink away from compliments that people pay you, right? As if it's just the most awkward and bleh kind of thing to someone thinks I look nice. No! <laughs> Or someone thinks, I did a good job. Are they out of their mind? <laughs> or they're lying. They can't be telling the truth if they're paying me a compliment. They must be a jerk. <laughs> it's like there's a conspiracy where people are conspiring to, to make me seem like I, or make me feel like I'm a good person or I did a good job. Oh, get out of your head. If only just for now. What if when someone was paying you a compliment, they literally just meant it? Like, you look really nice today. Oh, oh. Right? That's one way that being afraid of abundance, we block it. Not being able to receive compliments. Another way that our fear of abundance can come up is asking, 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 you know, uh, spirit, I wanna win the lottery, or spirit, I want to um, have, a, have a boyfriend, or, or you know, you, we're doing our wishing and manifesting and visioning work, or I want to have a successful business, or I want to get a promotion. We put out the wish, and then we wait for something to fall out of the sky. Cue falling parcel. It's invisible now. I don't have the graphics yet to make it be all high tech. Imagine with me. <laughs> There's a magical parcel that fell out of the sky and you open it up and ta -da! it's a promotion. We have this kind of expectation that I'm going to ask and I'm going to receive a thingy. More often than not, let's say nine times out of ten, so the majority of the time, when we ask, we receive an opportunity, or an idea, or a potential, right? A potential versus kinetic energy. Potential energy is strong, it can be infinite, but it is not moving yet. Kinetic energy becomes realized because it moves from being potential to, okay, we're taking action. So another way that we can, maybe we have some fear around receiving is not acting on the opportunities, the ideas and intuitive hits or gut feelings spirits and source sends us in return when we ask for whatever it is we're trying to manifest. Right? So they're like, please give it to me. And then the energy says, okay, I just need you to do this. And you're like, no. Or I can't do that. Or I don't have time for that. I can't afford that. 
my husband won't let me. I gotta ask my wife, and she's not gonna let me do that. Uh, I can't travel, right? All of the excuses come blah, flying out of us when the universe comes around. Okay, here's a silver platter. I just need you to take action by taking it out of my hands. Oh, there's a fear there, a resistance to receiving. And now I'm starting to hear the oracle cards of the week coming through, really to help us weigh in on why do we have a fear of receiving and is there anything that we can do about that? One last thing is coming through in the energy. The angels are saying that there's a pattern of a fear of receiving in your life because something happened to you or around you that you created an interpretation and from that interpretation of the event in your life something happened that you interpreted and created a story that basically you tell yourself of it is not safe to receive like oh don't take candy from strangers or if I receive this from somebody that means I have to do something for them in return like the angels are saying we need to look back on where did my story begin when I started telling myself it's not safe to receive perhaps the story came from the media such as if you receive financial abundance then you are a dirty car salesman and you're a schmuck you're a greedy penny pinching or uh, you, all rich people are cheap, right? There's, there's these stories that um, we absorb from the media sometimes, the miscommunication about, oh, being wealthy means you, you pushed people down and you know, chopped your way to the top. That's not necessarily true. Friends of mine, deep, beautiful, loving people, I know people intimately who are multimillionaires and they couldn't be more giving, loving, honest, integrous, happy, enthusiastic, vortexy, juicy people. So, the angels are just challenging us right now before we read the oracle cards. Think back for a moment right now, let's hold the space. Say, when did I start telling myself a story, maybe as a kid, or a young adult, or as an adult, that it is not safe to receive. Allowing whatever comes through, guttural reactions, initial thoughts, feelings, not judging them or pushing them aside, but just allowing your energy to show you. By the way, if something comes up, let me know. Send me an email back or comment below. What did you see come through in that moment of silence? The Oracle Cards of this week is Healing with the Angels by Doreen Virtue. Again, one of many Oracle Card decks here at the dojo. But this deck in particular said, well, we want to help. We want to be the ones who say, oh, we want to weigh in on this topic we're interested that's basically what i hear in the energy like the cards just kind of say we're talking we're talking this week oh wow celebration so this is a beautiful card i mean how how appropriate is this that we're talking about receiving and there's a picture of an angel with arms open wide like okay and being able to celebrate and in the energy they're telling me one of the things that we're afraid of abundance is that we're taught to be ashamed of doing a good job we can't celebrate our wins or our accomplishments because there's an expectation that that'll make other people feel small in our presence. So, if we're doing really well or if we get a great idea, one, we will hide our accomplishment being like, oh, I don't want anyone else to
to, to, to feel like I'm sticking out too much. And two, if we get a great idea, we'll be like, oh, I got this idea. You should do it. No! Source sent you that idea. It's meant to come through you. So instead of receiving the gift, we're pushing it off and pushing it away to other people. It takes courage to open to receive. So they're telling me to read, but in particular, a celebration attracts more energy and inspiration. The, the universe favors celebration, but let's see what, uh, what Doreen channeled about celebration in particular. Hmm. Good news! Cause for celebration is here, and it is time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. The angels want you to know that this is a light-filled time in your life. You have been working toward making changes, and your intentions have now manifested into form. This is the time for you to fill your heart with a warm feeling of gratitude. The angels ask you through this card to hold strong in this gratitude. You are like a gardener who plants seeds and nurtures them because she has faith that her labors will yield new growth. Keep watering and tending to your seeds, and you will soon see them sprouting through the surface. The angels are your co-gardeners who help you tend to your crop. And this is what I'm going to lead you, leave you with. We'll lead you with, too. <laughs> Spirit is challenging you to practice saying, Say it with me. Thank you. When you get the inspiration, when you when someone pays you a compliment, when the opportunity opens up and you know that it's resonating with what you've asked for, what you're working towards, pause, say it, thank you, and then pause again. Pauses on either side of the thank you, by the way, are very important because you are being fully present. Pausing is presence in this aspect. Also, if things are going well, celebrate. Like, oh my God, I just got a new client. Woo! <laughs> yes, thank you. Right? And if someone else around you has a win, or something good happens to them, celebrate with them. Look, oh my gosh, I, you know, I lost 10 pounds. That's wonderful, I'm so proud of you, right? Celebrate with them. What it does is it raises all of our vibrations and the energy sees that and says, oh, I like it when you raise your vibration. Let me give you some more. Let me give you more reasons to do so. What it does, it takes courage to be able to receive the gifts that the universe is sending you. One more thing. In the energy they said, oftentimes we're afraid to receive because we're trying to control everything. Only just for now. Don't try to control the fact that things are going good. Just accept it, okay? So again, send me an email back, comment below. What speaks to you in this video? What are you afraid of receiving about? Or what are you afraid to process that Spirit has sent you? Or what compliments do you typically reject or bounce back to other people? You're training the universe to not send you good vibrations and positive energy by throwing it all away to other people. Okay, I believe in you, I love you, I'm sending you my energy, and I'll see you next week. Mwah.